Good morning dear students welcome back this is module number 3 paper number 2 for engineering physics cac stream so question number 5 a define a bit and a qubit and explain the properties of qubit bit matte qubit bage differences anna heli athwa definition anna heli a bit is the smallest unit of data that a computer can process and store it can be represented either by 0 or by 1 whereas qubit is a physical carrier of quantum information it is a quantum version of a bit and its quantum state can be written as ket0 and ket1 so these are called brack notations uh, sorry dirac notations sorry brack la dirac notations ket0 and ket1 it is this is dirac notation okay now coming to properties of qubit qubit make use of discrete energy state particles such as electrons and protons so that means we are using electrons or protons for storing the data we can use the spin of electron energy level of the electron orientation of the electron okay so like that similarly proton also so we make use of elementary particles at the particle level we store the data therefore we can store enormous amount of data next qubit exist in two states namely ket0 and ket1 or in a linear combination of both andre it is not only 0 and 1 0 andre off 1 andre on anta we all know but here it is not only 0 and 1 that is not only on and off it can be combination of 0 and 1 also that is the advantage of qubit whereas in case of normal uh, logical or uh, classical computers it is either 0 or 1 means either on or off athwa off or on whereas in quantum computation we have linear combination of both ket0 and ket1 this is known as superposition so linear combination is also known as superposition unlike classical bits quant qubit can work with the overlapping of zero and one that's what i told you it not only works with zero and one it can works with the combination of zero and one also quantum entanglement and quantum tunneling are the two exclusive properties you need not to worry much about what is entanglement and tunneling just you mention the names next state of the qubits can be represented using a, a an imaginary sphere called block sphere what is block sphere i have already explained in my e, previous uh, model paper discussion i call that paper as model paper 1 this as model paper 2 okay well that's all about the bit and qubit now coming to discuss the c not gate and its operation on four different inputs dear students remember there will be definitely one gate either uh, single qubit gate or multi qubit gate this is multi qubit gate c not gate for more details you can watch my quantum computation videos also c not gate is also known as control not gate and it is a two qubit operation where the first qubit is considered as control qubit and the other one is called target qubit so erd qubit irtave ondanna now control anti another one is called as target if the control qubit is one then only it will act on the target how it will act it will flip the target from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 so control will work only when it is in the one state suppose if it is in zero state it won't work so if it is in one state it will act on the target it will target the bottom one so if the target is one it will change into zero if the target is zero it will change into one so look at the circuit and the matrix forum always forget you have to write the circuit matrix forum and then truth table so this is not the energy level diagram this is only representation these lines are called quantum wires okay the quantum wires join input and output see input is a out output is a input is b output will be b plus a plus l is actually target okay so this control the upper one is called control control will act on target only if control is in one state suppose if this is in one state this is in zero state then zero changes to one one changes to zero by chance if this itself is zero it won't work so that i have explained here nodi 0 0 first 0 is always control next 0 is always target so control is 0 it won't disturb the target next this is control is 0 target is 1 i told you no control will work only when it is 0 since it is not uh, sorry you can't control will work only when it is 1 since this is not one even here also 0 1 is not disturbed so 0 1 remains 0 1 coming to next one 1 0 ah look at control control is in one state so it will act on 0 how it will act this 0 changes to 1 therefore 1 0 finally comes out as a 1 1 similarly 1 1 comes out as 1 0 this is the working of c not gate coming to matrix forum so matrix forum first line as it is second line as it is third and fourth interchange third and fourth interchange actually third line should be 0 0 1 0 
fourth line should be 0, 0, 0, 1. I told you the last part will be flipped. 1, 0 becomes 1, 1. 1, 1 becomes 1, 0. Therefore, last two columns must be interchanged. So, they swap. And this is the truth table. See, 0, 0 remains 0, 0. 0, 1 remains 0, 1. 1, 0 changes to 1, 1. 1, 1 changes to 1, 0. So, 1, 1 goes here. 1, 0 comes here. That's why the last two columns are swapped. So, this is C not gate working. Now, coming to numerical uh, uh, problem, a linear operator x operates such that x on 0 gives 1 and x on 1 gives 0. Find the matrix representation of x. That means you have to find out the x value. x value goes like this. I will do the problem now. x value is a 2 by 2 matrix. X, I, let, let me take x as let, let x is equal to uh, x11, x11 first member, x12 second member, x21 third member, x22 fourth member. Okay, now consider let x ket 0 is equal to ket 1. Substitute for x, x11, x12, x21, x22, sorry, x22 uh, operating on uh, 0, ket 0 is 10 0, that is equal to 0, 1. Now do the matrix operation x11 into 1 x11 plus 0 next uh, x21 into 1 x21 plus uh, 0 x22 into 0 0 so this is the product of the LHS next it is equal to 0 and 1 so now simplify x11 is equal to 0 x21 is equal to 1 so this is what I get from the first uh, data now I go to the second data second data is x ket 1 is equal to ket 0 substitute for x x11 x12 x21 x22 oh sorry sorry x22 that is equal to that is equal oh sorry sorry not to equal to I should write uh, one here just one minute so I erase this and then it is okay now it is ket 1 that is 0 1 is equal to ket 0 that is 1 0 multiply modi x11 into 0 that is 0 plus x2 1 2 into 0 uh, that is uh, x12 into 1 sorry and then this into this uh, uh, divided next x21 into 0 plus x22 into 1 so that is equal to 0 uh, sorry 1 and 0 uh, i have done this problem in numerical section also so next uh, first element will be x12 next element will be x22 because this term becomes 0 and this term becomes 0 so finally i have 1 and 0 Therefore, x12 equals 1, x22 is equal to 0. Uh, now, consider x, I know, sorry, consider x, x is equal to x11, x12, x21, x22. Substitute here, so that, sorry, x is equal to, therefore, x11 is 0, x12 is 1, x21 is 1, x22 is 0. So, therefore, I have this answer. See, x11 value, x11 value is here x21 value is here, x12 uh, value is here, x22 value is here, substitute them you will get the answer. Okay, so just I will erase all these things, just I erase this, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. I write them neatly, just one minute, x11 equal to 0, x21 uh, uh, is equal to 1. Okay, next uh, x12 is equal to 1, x22 uh, is equal to 0. Therefore, in the place of x22, I have 0. In the place of x1, I have 0. In the place of x12, I have 1. x21, I have 1. So, I have this matrix. So, that's all about this numerical. Now, let us move on to the next question. The next question is state Pauli matrices and apply Pauli matrix on 0 state and 1 state. See, there are 3 a Pauli matrices. 0 x matrix, y matrix and z matrix, x is given by 0 1 1 0, y is given by 0 minus i i 0, z is given by 1 0 0 minus 1. Now let me operate x on 0 and 1, so x get 0, x is multiplied on get 0, so I get this one that is 0 1, so you know how to multiply 0 into 1 0 plus 1 into 0 0, first element is 0, uh, I hope you know how to multiply, I just do one only 1 here, x on 0 is nothing but 0 1 1 0 into 1 0 that is equal to 0 into 1 is 0 plus 1 into 0 0 next 1 into 1 1 plus 0 into 0 0 
so that is 0 and 1 okay so uh, we get what is called ket 1 okay so that is here so that means when x operates on 0 you get 1 similarly when x operates on 1 we get uh, 0 that means x is acting as a flip flop circuit so it will uh, change 0 to 1 1 to 0 state will change therefore it is also called as a state flip uh, state flip operator or state flip uh, matrix or state flip gate so x is over now coming to y please follow carefully y operating on 0 finally you just go through the steps it will be i into 0 1 that means i into ket 1 next y operating on 1 gives you minus i into ket 0 how it is please go through the multiplication okay it is self explanatory you pause the video and verify this Similarly, when Z operating on ket 0 and ket 1, so ket 0 is uh, Z when operates on ket 0, it remains undisturbed, 0 remains as it is. But when Z acts on 1, it becomes minus 1 and the 180 degree change, therefore it is called as phase flip. X is called state flip, Z is called phase flip, it will change the ket, ket 1 from one eight, this position to this position that is 180 degree rotation okay that's all about the question number uh, 6a now 6b distinguish the elucidate the difference between classical and quantum computing uh, i have given about five to six differences classical computing depends upon the classical physics quantum computation depends on quantum physics or quantum mechanics here the bit is stored in the form of voltage or charge variation whereas here quantum bit is uh, making use of spin or polarization concept next bit value has 0 and 1 it can have only one value at a time single value whereas qubit can have combination of 0 and 1 deterministic means it is perfect always it is deterministic current flows means flows doesn't flow means doesn't flow that means measurements are exact whereas in quantum mechanics it is totally probabilistic it is not deterministic therefore we have to repeat the experiment we have to repeat the operations to get the accurate value whereas in classical computation it is exact value one operation one answer next logic gates we have so many gates and or not etc whereas here quantum gates we have x y z c naught okay Toffoli, swap many gates are there Next here the algebra what we use called Boolean algebra here it is called as linear algebra and concept of matrices. So these are the differences. So please go through this. This is also one of the expected question. Now coming to working of control Z gate. Control Z gate I already explained in my regular video. I just run through the video. Uh, sorry slide. In this gate we have control. See Burry Z gate are it is single single. It is control Z gate therefore it is multi at least two qubits. So one of them is called control and other one is target. In the target place we have Z unitary matrix and Z will work only when it is in one state one changes to minus one. This is what I told you just few minutes back. Okay operation. Ah, see this is two qubit level. So this one is control qubit. This is target. In the place of target I have Z. See it is is a combination of C naught and Z that's why it is called as C naught Z that was control Z gate uh, control will work only when it is 0 look at the <coughs> truth table 0 no, no variation so 0 0 remains as it is 0 1 also remains as it is 1 0 1 is now ready and the control is ready to work but what to do Z is not ready to accept because Z works only when it is in 0 state sorry 1 state if it is in 0 state it doesn't work Hangagi 1 0 also remains as it is and the first three columns remain same 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 ethera first to three columns remains as it is only the last one that is one one changes to minus one one that is the property of the z gate z gate will work only when it is in one control will work only when it is in one so when both are in one one definitely the gate will work but how it will work it will change one to minus one 180 degree phase so therefore last column is zero 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 minus one and this is the matrix forum so here is the explanation of the z gate truth table and matrix okay well uh, i will come to question number seven in my next video and in another two videos i will complete the uh, discussion of model paper thank you thank you very much